how it's called in the Akan language. For Ewes, they call it Jonu. In Ga, it's known as Ashino. And here in Somanya, they call it Moe. So some people use it as a spiritual totem. Others use it during special festivals or for cultural display. Ladies would usually use this around their waist as an adornment. And for some people, it's just a fashion statement. So today we are looking at bead making and everything that goes into it from start to finish. Thank you for joining us in this edition of People and Places. My name is Wanda Ami Hagen. You can see some young men behind me working hard. That is the start of a whole process we are going to go into right after this break. Welcome aboard. Okay, uh, my name is Wanda. My name is Israel. Abraham. Tete. Abraham. Tete. Okay. So we came to visit you. We want to learn everything about what you do, beats making. So guys, we are speaking to Abraham Tete today. He's our guest on the show, and welcome back from that short break. So you start everything here. Yeah. The whole beat. Uh, making process? Uh, the baking process, we had a Krobos that introduced the beat, glass beat. Glass beads? The Krobos. Okay. They introduced glass beads. Where do beads come from? It comes from prehistoric peoples. They use it, but we, we came on it. They born it on us. Mm. You so came to meet? We beads. came to meet. Okay. That we don't know much about the prehistoric men. I know there are different types of beads. Um, which one do you do? We do the grass bead. Okay. So which kinds of other beads do we have? We have the stone beads. Mm. The seed one. Mm. That's all. And then the and grass the one. And the rubber one. We beads. have the rubber one rubber as beads. in plastic yes. and beads. Yes. But what you do is grass, grass beads. beads. Yes. Okay. So we'll be going around so that we learn um, the tools and then how you go about the process. Where are we starting from? We are starting from the, how they pound it. How they pound the yeah. glass. Okay. But where do you even get your glass from? You get it from Kofoda Accra. Mm. The broken bottles. Broken bottles. Livers. Okay. So just any glass any material. Glass. Okay. But we will use the the store one. Mm. So what goes into the breaking? The breaking. What do you use to break the we glass? We use the mortar. This. This tool is called the mortar. The mortar. So you just pound it like you a pound pounding fufu. Yeah. yeah. So after pounding it. But how smooth must it be before you move? It will take a time, by one hour or two. So after that, you sieve and get the powder one. Mm. And that's it. So after pounding, you see. So this is what it looks like when you are done pounding. Uh -huh. We use this one, okay. the powder one. We have the two types of baking the grass bit. We have the cutting one. Mm. That one, the, you know, put any color on it. Okay. You cut in the shape you want. Then you fire it. Okay. Then you create a hole on it. Mm. But this one, after pounding, you add, the, you see, then you add the color, the sodium. So you have different colors that you uh, need? Any color you want. Mm. So this is yellow. Mm. You add it to the smooth. The smooth powder one. Mm. Then you mix it. So because it's smooth, it won't cut you? It will not cut. It's a powder one. Mm. It's a seasoning. It will make a powder form. Okay. Additional, we finish. So you are done with, uh, with the, the mixing. mixing now. Yes. 
whilst we get to we are going to the oven right yeah okay but what types of beads do we make i'm wearing one this one is for dressing for right? dressing that's so a necklace which, necklace, necklace and then the bracelet the bracelet so which other ones do we have that you make we have the waist bead mm. the smaller one the smaller one that one the white man who do it okay but our one is the necklace with the wrist one so you don't make waist beads yes yeah? you okay. don't make them okay okay so after the after adding the adding of the color mm -hmm. missing of the color we cut cassava stick we cut cassava stick in order to make a hole for threading you get it mm -hmm. if we make it raw there will not be hole inside okay so you put the stick inside inside to create you... to create hole okay What is this thing called, by the way? The it's the mold. Okay. But you use clay. So you do it yourself or you buy it? Ourself. You we do, do it yourself. yourself. So you use clay, clay to mold and then you put mold. the holes Roll in inside. yourself. Yeah. So after cutting the cassava stick, then you, you pour the powder, powder into it. Oh, okay. If you want to do design inside, the designing process we have to two making. Mm. We have the making on it, and we have the making outside, designing outside. You get okay. it. To design inside, we have the body, tiny. the tiny one. Oh, you create outside the bit. There you add a designer color you, you want to appear on the on the surface of the beach. Okay. Are you getting it? Yeah. So this is designing inside Des inside the, the beach, mold. The mold. Okay. If you want it to be round, you can do it. So after that, there you put them on fire. Okay. How many types of molds do you have? The design you you want to make it. So I see the we have smaller the, one. We have the mm -hmm. round mm -hmm. bit. Okay. And the straight one. We have the tiny one. We have the big one. So the, the one round. I'm wearing, for instance, um, how how was it made? Uh, it's the same as this. Okay, but so the, this is the round the, one. Oh, the straight one. This is the straight one. one. Okay, so we are going to put it in the fire. Mm. We put it on the fire. Mm. You allow it to wait for 15 minutes mm -hmm. to allow the stick to burn. Okay. Then to, after that? After that, then you fire it. So this is the baking process? The baking process. How long does it take in the oven? It will depend on the amount of fire you give. Up. Okay. Like 30 minutes, it will cake okay. or it will bake. Okay. So, okay. Have you seen that it is hot? Yeah. And it has formed a color, a shape. Yes. So after this thought, it will be like a melting. The, the, this thing you are using, what is it called? Bodkin. 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 Okay. Then you use the bodkin to create another hole inside. You get me. You create when, another hole aside the one that the stick created. Yeah. The stick, it bent. Uh -huh. But when it will bake, the hole inside it will become contracted. Like it will come together. Smaller, or smaller, okay. smaller so shape. So you have to expand, so it. To expand it. That's why you use the board key. Okay. To make another hole or to expand the hole inside. And then you press it. You press it. The pressing, this one we want it to be round. Mm. That's why okay. we press it. So if but you want it to be straight, you just, just straight, leave it like that. You leave it like that. Okay. So Abraham, let's hold it here um, and take a quick break. We've been learning about the bead making process. He's taking us through a number of steps already. There's still more to come. 
and then we'll be having the conversation about who buys what how expensive or lucrative this business is we'll be right back do stay From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On Bistec, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. Welcome back from that break. Thank you for staying with us. We are at Abraham's workshop here in Sumenya and we are learning all about bead making and uh, the whole process, how we get our beautiful beads. This is still people and places. So I see a lot of fire. You mentioned baking. Doesn't it hurt you? There's smoke and the fire and everything. Uh, it hurts by the protection of God. But it's all good. <laughs> So how long have you been doing this, for example? Uh, 25 years now. 25 years? With fire? Yes. Uh, are you married? Let me just ask. Yeah, I'm married. Okay. Doesn't it affect your health in any way? Um, yeah, it doesn't affect. It doesn't affect your health in any way at all? So you, you, you have children? Yes. Okay. That's great. So before the break, you were talking about baking and then cooling. Cooling. So the cooling will take about how many minutes? 30 minutes. 40. And then after that? You remove them. For but, it to uh, work. Sorry, before you go, you don't. Uh, this one, this equipment, it's a bar. what is it called? A bar. A bar. Mm. What you use to pick the. The bit. Can I try one? Yeah. But how do you get the very last one out from the fire? There is a. The iron rod that long. Okay. So you put it. You push it and back push it and here. then remove it. Okay. So let's go to our cooling, our cool uh, beads. You remove them. Okay. So these so ones these have been are, out. They are for... finished. Okay. Finish food. They are the finished one. Oh. All these ones are round. Are round. Mm. We are going to wash them. Mm -hmm. You put them on the sack. Okay. Then you add sand. 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 Why? Why are we adding sand? To remove sand? the white. Have you seen that? Uh. There is a white. Clay, kaolin. Yeah, the, the clay. The clay. We have particles. the kaolin. Kaolin. The white clay. Mm -hmm. We use on the mood. Okay. So, do you so add, it gets stuck to yeah, the thing. It, so the sand does what to it? It will, it will remove the kaolin. Sandy soil. The sandy one. Mm -hmm. To remove the, uh, the kaolin shape. Uh, white one on it. Mm. On the surface. Then you, you make it. So the sand you put inside will wash the you wash the white white clay, clay on on the surface. Okay. Okay. We finish the washing. I will see that oh. there's no whitish. So the clay. sand. The, the sand remove uh, remove everything on it. So these beads, for example, were used. The yellow color was used. Yes. Oh. This is the good one. Gold. Gold. Okay. So this 
So from the rinsing okay. part, we are going to you do thre what? threading. Threading, okay. So do you like have somebody who does everything, or you do everything, like? Um, so you, I will you thread. have team members. Uh, we have so someone will pound the glass. Yes. Somebody will thread. Some of thread. Uh, somebody some will fire mold. it. Okay. Yes. You can, Hello, you can allow it. You? you can allow it for three minutes to allow the water to, to drain. To drain. Okay. So the ones he's doing here are fresh from the oven. Yes. But the water has gone off yeah. them. Okay. So what goes into the threading process too? The threading process. That's the the roof. And this one, you, where do you get it from? The, this one they used to thread, uh, they thread the bread, uh, clothes. Okay. For eight years. Okay. You get it for eight yeah. years. Then you thread it. Yeah, you said, what are you using to thread it? Uh, uh, copper. Okay. Okay. This is uh, the, the stick we use. Is the one who played the hole inside? Wow. The cassava stick. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, there is a hole inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, but whilst you are threading, uh, let's have a conversation. What kind of beads uh, do people come to buy here and what do they use it for? Which kind of people do you have coming here to buy your beads? Uh, we have some, they come from who? Mm -hmm. Away people. They love this one. Okay. And this. We call this one Zagba. Zagba. Yeah. What does it mean? I don't, well, I don't know about it. But which language is it? Maybe the whole way people their language. Yeah. Zagba. Okay. Uh-huh. So uh, they come one. here, the Ewe people come here to buy. Buy it. Aside buy it. them. Aside the Ewe. The Fonti. Mm. The accounts. Okay. We have the market at Kofuda, mm. Galaway. So you sell in wholesale? Wholesale. So what you are doing, for example, is how much? It's five CD. For the bracelet? Yes. So one bracelet like this? Five CD. Five CDs. And then this, the necklace is? It's ten CD. Ten CDs. So how often are you able to sell um, the beads you make? It's amount how you, you are about to produce, you can sell. Mm. If you go to the market, some order you, they can order you to make it. And some also, we go for the market, we display it. If you come there, you select the one you want. So you, you, you take your beads, beads to the market? To the market. Which market? Galaway, we have the park there, the market there. Mm. Some at Agomenia, okay. some at uh, Mokola, Accra. Go there for so you the have sale. people come and buy and yeah, send it. Yeah, send it. But do you have foreigners? Uh, uh, we have been, buy. They they all come. They can they come to the market. We have some out there. Uh, mm, Europe, okay. German. They all come there to buy. To buy the bracelet. Yes. Okay. And uh, which bracelet? I mean, which bead is for what? Some we use it as a naming ceremony. Mm. Some for wedding. Some for dressing. As in traditional wedding? Yeah, traditional wedding. Okay. We have some, they call it Koli. Koli for naming ceremony. That is a, it's a like a, like a blue color, like a sea color, sea, mm -hmm. sea blue. You make that one to here? That one, uh, we have been making it. They use for naming ceremony. And some for wedding process. But why is a particular bead for the naming ceremony? What is the significance? The prehistoric men, the old people they use, mm -hmm. that they come about, but that one I don't know it concerning, anything concerning about it. Okay. But how about the, the waist beads? We hear that waist beads are supposed to shape women. Yeah. How true is that? Oh, it's true. They use for self-identity. Mm. As a lady, you have to wear a bead to describe you. But where did that come from? 
and the old people they came about it to give the shape of a woman. Mm. That's why. So you have people coming to buy waist beads from you. Too. Yes. I see. Okay. Before we wrap up, uh, what goes into your designing? Why do you choose a particular color for a particular bead? Some use a white color for happiness or joy, mm. like a wedding process. Mm -hmm. They use butter color. We name it uh, Koli. We have it, the name is Koli. Okay. The white color mm. for naming ceremony or someone who is happy. Okay. You can wear something white okay. or butter color. Okay. And then this one, for instance? For this one, is for decoration. Or it fashion. Depend, fashion. Mm. Maybe you have a dress with similar to the bead. That is match to the bead that way you wear. So depending on what people want, right. you, you use the different colors right. you have yes. for that. Thank you so much, Ibrahim, for educating us. I think you're doing a fabulous job. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a bead person, but I think this is impressive. I think this is really lovely. Okay. And thank you so much for okay. making time on people and places. You're welcome. Welcome back. This is still People and Places. The conversation continues, but we want to look at that subject from all angles. And so we are at the heart of Accra, specifically at the Makola market. And we want to speak to some traders who major in beef selling. We want to find out how business goes and which kind of people come to them to patronize beef. We will be starting with Madame Grace Tete. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Let's say. Mpacha, yeah. If you are here, Anna, what are you doing? Oh, you yeah, are more than 20 years. Didn't see now, she used to say, Nyama Bibi will have a bit me at home. Didn't see now, she used to say, a bit of a tongue. Ah, not in me, me, mommy, the first born. I don't know what to do. And to auto, you know. On one year, who say market near good, and to Yang and I, yes, so must say a bay, and to your boots and four be brie, a motor, and when ye. Confor, bains are any ya, motor, and when ye. Oh, I will near there, no puppy brie, to be a no more, and in there, I will near a if a and you home fast or no, or motor pa, I will near there, top a mean kind of doubt. In penny for say, O be a ya woo, and eh, or belly my crap or ya wooden wreck, or your shiny and in a toma. And to be a to me say, Usha, what would crap or wooden pack supply a show? And beats type bains are an hour ever. Eh, you're an inner beat, eh? You are no different, different, different. Eh, you're what it is, dear. You're what it is, dear, to say. I know that it is, dear. You know, first, you know, we won't buy it. We need to see your friend, Krista. Krista, no, first, not Krista, no, buy it. It's the day, no, 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 no. Obia to me, Shabby. Yeah, I'm going to pa. I'm going to pa, Kasa. Yeah, I'm going to pa, pa. We need to buy it, you see, new ones, no, more, but no. It's the day, you know, we won't buy it. It's the day, no, 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 no. But we won't, no. I have to say, you know, China, for the day, I know, you know, you're free. I'm going to buy it, you know, Krista, no, no, a woman, no, 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 no Obia ni ni price ni prices. If I didn't hear fair no, Obia onsu ni ni design or the anti design no na ema prices ni. We mo ya detu ya waist. Oh ni ya detu ya komu or ni ya detu ya sema na. To say eh say say cry ya nine day. Ya ya ni nine day. Na obet anklet anklet. We onsu ya detu onsa. We mo ya onsa day. Hehe. But imagine ni baby. Yadi yadi two insta engagement four wedding four so. Oh, they are memory. Memory and I'm on person. I'm on dressy. Eh eh. 
Hey, no baby. Light of I Hey, we no <laughs> Madam Pache Frosting. Your friend Grandma Maggie. What what on beats no in fear him? Um twenty more than twenty years. Then see now to see say beats now beton. Mammy ne and in a tongue and talk on the chin and betting na new. Types bay now ever hano. Me wa a con dear Well say a friend at the agba. When we are once met me, young clan for your friend, no more When we life, dear. When we are to see, dear. What has you when we are in flow? Okay, I am flow. Okay, I am flow. When no better, I need one see engagement. Business, eh? Eh, 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 business, dear. In and off. We do a whole year, we do a whole and yet now to meet my feet. I said, Oba. Yaman, a yaw coffee fee him. Yaman, Yaji Brain, a common year fee from Fodria. Amoya wore a classic classroom, and tell Jad Dano, no more Jabba, from Fodria market to all. Yes, we are kept to Abba. Beats Ned Dawson, Ever Hanum, but type Ben Pan and Co for a tattoo. I'm not to shine So we have someone um, patronizing grandma's beads. We just want to ask her why she's buying. So good afternoon. Afternoon. Let's say. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Then I'm going to buy if I show my baby to you, I mean, you type more and bang in a water. I did, but what they call it, then didn't see a water. 
Me ba cho me mane se Friday ni anko ponya aduma mo ye ko chebi o school munti na mpeso mu si si o mo hote se o mo kroom traditional we enti no mentor ahini ene ni e man femre no. We have um, a gentleman interestingly buying one of the beads and we want to engage him a little. Let us say. Pacho. Um ya fro se. Is that me bright watching? It's bright. Oh oh better day na anka se ahini de e ma de o. Uh, I went there with me. Well, Obama went there with me. Me person, me or na me yin so or she aye me. Instead of me person, me turn me never know. Into all but to be a ma oyere. To be a ma me. Okay. Type Ben sa na wota. Eh, me per type aye correct ya. Color be aye different color be aye. We are at the shop of Auntie Harriet. She has a wide variety of beads, local, foreign, and. There's a lot here. We want to engage her and find out um, how business is going and everything she knows about what she sells. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you doing? My God's grace, I'm fine. How long have you been selling beads? For the past 30 years, I've been in this business. 30 years? That's a lot of years. Okay. What actually convinced you? I mean, there are a lot of other businesses. Why beads? I was doing earrings and other things, but uh, when I travel outside, I could see that I have the passion. When I see the beads, it fascinates me so much. So I had a passion of selling it. So I started, I quitted everything and started doing the beads. Mine is passion. It's not about what people are selling. When I see the beads, I'm moved. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I'm a designer as well. So I could see when I mix them, I can do something out of it. That is why I started styling the beads. So you, you do the beads that you sell yourself? Yes, I do myself. Right. I do the beads somewhere, but the designing, I do it. The threading and the, threading yeah. and the design, yes. So, um, can you take us through your shop? It's quite a big shop. Um, which kinds of beads do you have here? Okay, I have the crumble beads. And I have the Nigerian type of beads. The Krobo beads, that is the Ghanaian one. We have assorted of Ghanaian beads. We have that of the Eves, and some from the, that is the one from the Volta region. And then we have the one from Sumeya, the eastern part of Ghana. And then we have uh, some other places. We have the northern type. The northerners have their type of beads. Yes, I'm selling oil and I have the Indian beads as well. Sometimes I travel from Mali. I was traveling to India. So I have the Indian beads as well. And then we have the Korean type. So many others. On a typical day, how is business like for you at your shop? Previously, because uh, you can't get the Ghanaian beads outside. Ours were so beautiful and it was cheap. So when people come to Ghana from the diaspora, some from the UK, others from, the, uh, from America and other places, they choose buying some beads for friends. But this time, because of the COVID, the business has changed entirely. It is not like that so. But the only consolation we have is that now we Ghanaians have moved into the local beads during our ceremonies, that is our weddings and engagements, we've shifted it to the traditional sector. And that is what is balancing a little bit. That, that's helping. You mentioned uh, foreigners who come here to buy for their friends. When people come to the shop, how do they describe what they want and how, what kind of beads? They see the beads, uh, they like it. Our kente goes with the beads. So they, they choose to buy some of the kintes and then the local design beads. And somehow it depends on how you design it too. If you, you are artistic, you can combine the uh, uh, colors and it will be more of uh, attractive. So they choose to buy the beads and then it's not expensive too. When people come here, they tell you, maybe I want beads for my neck and my hands or I want ways be just want uh, what do I say uh, so some souvenirs for friends to show that I've been in Africa so you recommend 
Sometimes I recommend, sometimes they know what they are about. About five years coming down the line, these hand beats for men and women have been more of what people like. Mm, so just buying one bead for the hand, I think will not cost too much and will not give you any uh, traveling, uh, what do I say, weight or something when it comes to flying. Mm -hmm. So they choose to buy the beads because it's handy. So, would you by chance know the significance of some of the different types of beads you, you, you have here? Waste beads, it's for a different purpose. Mm. You see, from this side to this side is the weight beads. And these waste beads, you know, uh, uh, for those days, past days gone, our mothers used to use it as uh, 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 like a type of scale that they can determine whether you are increasing weight or you are below weight or something. So it has been the system. But because of the colorful uh, touch that are coming, people are patronizing more. And this now they are even taking it outside. Yes, they sometimes wear it even on the dresses. It's not under, yes. After they finish wearing their dress, they put it on to showcase uh, some sort of something like belt or something. Uh, when the man sees it, it attracts them, you know. Uh -huh. So it makes a woman, it differentiates between a man and a woman when they are in bed. <laughs> it shows who the woman and then shows who is the man because normally it's being worn by women. But do you have um, men coming here to buy beads? A lot of them. The hand one, for instance, that is what I told her since about five years ago. It has been a system for men putting on uh, beads. Almost every young man, you see, will put some beads with some brass inside. <laughs> so it is the fashion of the day. That is what I can see. How would you sell beads out to people out there? As someone who, sell, um, who sells beads, what would you say to get people to patronize more? I can see, ever since they started wearing the beads for engagements and weddings, it's, it's colorful. It makes the whole thing nice. Previously, it were only uh, uh, these pain mothers who used to use it. But now because of the change, now everybody is a pain mother. You can dress it anyhow and it's very nice. When people from outside see it, they like it. It's attractive, it's nice. It portrays our uh, culture, exactly. It portrays our culture. Just before um, I end with you, you mentioned that you designed the beads. Can you just take us to a typical... I see my I sister my, here. My daughter mm. treading it. Beading, it's all about, if you're artistic, immediately you pick it. And then you see the type of kente that the person is using. You can easily design something. And then I have the brass. These are all locally made and plated with gold. So you buy the gold ornaments separately? Yes, I buy the ornaments separate. I do the plating. I don't do it, I give it to those who plate it. And then they will plate it and bring it. And because I bid, I need them to design it to make it more of African. Mm -hmm. Learning new things and discovering new facts. That's what we do on the People and Places show. We wrap up this edition of the show and we've been looking at beats and everything that goes into its making. We first spoke to Abraham Tete, who took us through the beats making process. And then we got into the heart of Accra at the Makola market to speak to some traders and some buyers. We even got to speak to a designer who told us what goes into the designing of some specific beats. Thank you for watching the show. Make sure you get something Ghanaian because it's Ghana month. Let's make Ghana proud. My name is Wanda Mihigan and this is People and Places.